Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Payne. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Ocean Crypto. So today I want to talk about the Mafia DAO governance, which just recently got announced. So they have a great Medium article up that goes through it. I want to take you guys through this and give you some of my insights and also just talk about what this really means for everyone who's holding Mafia token. And I'm going to do a walkthrough of Snapshot at the very end because I know a lot of you have had some questions about that platform, how it works, how do you participate, and it's a good idea to get signed up now kind of ahead of time. So let's jump right in. So a lot of us who've been following Mavi for a long time know that this governance was coming, but there's obviously been a lot of questions. What exactly does it encompass? And that's what this article does a great job going into. So it talks first about how the community is self-governed through the Mavia DAO, a decentralized governance structure. Now, without just reading it verbatim, you know, let's kind of address the elephant in the room. Lots of projects have attempted this, some more successful than others. But what I really like about this is how they break it down because they talk about their core values and then really what in fact the DAO is going to be able to be used to be put it on. So everyone has a clear picture from the beginning. I think this is what some other projects have failed to do properly in the past, where it's been a little bit too loose. There wasn't really a clear understanding on what kind of proposals could get pushed through versus ones that couldn't. And then it felt like there was a lot of control on the approval process. So right off the bat, obvious kind of set the stage in my opinion in a great way with this. So. Let's go down into the core values. So they talk about how, you know, innovation, you know, they champion innovation, consistently seeking fresh ideas and pioneering solutions to drive progress with their ecosystem. Transparency, uh, they believe in open communication and transparency, ensuring everyone is informed and empowered to participate. This is great. There's more details on this below. Impactfulness, uh, they focus on creating meaningful outcomes that benefit the community and even in passing impression. Uh, distinctiveness, Mavia celebrates uniqueness, embracing diverse perspectives and contributions that enrich our community and foster creativity. Unity, uh, we value collaboration and inclusivity, recognizing our collective strength and working together towards common goals. And agility, our ability to quickly change, stay responsive to new opportunities in the dynamic Web3 space. Now, at first, this might just seem like lip service, but trust me when I say this is, is super important that this has been outlined start before getting into the DAO stuff. Um, and this is really what Mavia is setting their stage for how this DAO structure can be set up. Now, people are going to be voting on things, right? There's going to be debates. There's going to be people for and against things. So I think understanding these core values at the beginning is a really important thing for everybody to keep in mind. Um, not just how Mavia is handling this, but also how we are going to be participating in it. So now they want to talk about the proposal process. So participating in the submission of proposals, discussion, and voting is exclusive to Mavia DAO members. To be a member of the DAO, you must hold at least one Mavia token. Pretty straightforward, right? All proposals are referred to as MIPS, which are Mavia Improvement Proposal. The official Discord is used for proposal creation and discussion, while Snapshot is used for the actual voting. So they just go into the process here. They talk about how any member of the DAO can create a proposal. All proposals go through the same process from idea to implementation, rejection, or submission. Uh, now let's break those down, right? So the ideation is the proposed MIP idea is submitted as a thread in Discord and must be confirmed by moderators to align with DAO approved guidelines before being made visible to the community. The individual or group submitting the MIP idea will be designated as the author. Having this uh, approval process is really important as well. And they kind of explain that in a little more detail as we get along here. Then there's the discussion where it undergoes an informal comment gathering phase on Discord for the duration of seven days. It's important to remember that seven days. The author is not permitted to edit its original post and any proposed changes must be communicated through comments. This is important as well. Uh, Mavia DAO members are able to discuss the proposal on the Discord's thread and debate the benefits of the proposal and suggesting changes if needed. Okay, all well, that's pretty straightforward. So review, a specialized team will assess every proposal that progresses to this stage, comprising representatives from legal development and marketing departments, and their objective 
is to produce a MIP analysis report, which scrutinizes factors such as expenses, execution procedures, legal consequences, requirements for third-party review, possible conflicts of interest, and other relevant considerations. This is very important in a DAO structure because you can't just give all voters the right to propose absolutely anything, regardless of the impact on how it's going to have on the project. You know, so it's good to know if there's something where a legal issue is going to be a concern, obviously that can't be moved forward with. So it's not truly decentralized as a DAO in kind of the sense that a lot of people have this dream of in crypto where it's just everything is all up for voting and we can do this. You need to have this uh, review process so that that can actually be something that is plausible within the game or the ecosystem. Uh, and then they talk about voting and basically the you've got the 14 days here because once something becomes live on snapshot you're able to vote until the conclusion of 14 period remembering that one mavi equals one vote there's also no gas costs associated with voting and all votes are public and can be seen by anyone uh, posting mips on snapshot is reserved for moderators as they are tasked with confirming that each mip has undergone the appropriate approval process so really straightforward to understand all of this then there's finalization a live mip receives no if a live mip receives no votes finalization if a live mip receives no votes or is tied at the voting close time it will be labeled as paused and can be resubmitted by the author this is great uh, accepted mips proceed to the implementation phase so just going through the last section here you know for implementation for final accepted MIPS. Implementation will begin based on the steps outlined in the MIP proposal. Project management team assigned by the Mavia DAO is responsible for delegating the implementation proposal to the appropriate division or team and then following up with their progress. So this is great because it shows that they're they're being transparent on how this is actually going to get implemented, the stages that all these MIPS have to go through. So really we shouldn't have any questions about that process because it's all outlined here. Okay, so the next section is proposal categories. We've got gameplay improvements, ecosystem fund allocation, RAM decision, and process changes. Now, this is very important to be outlined because it lets everyone know exactly what these MIPS have to be labeled as. And it also gives us a lot of insight on what can be changed. I mean, everything from different features and functionality in the game to how some of the ecosystem fund is used. Maybe we want it to be towards certain tournaments or events certain percentages going towards landowners in different ways. Brand decision is actually a little uh, interesting to see. You know, this could be if a lot of us in the DAO want Mo Mavia to be associated with maybe a new and upcoming project or something interesting going on in the industry. And then of course, process changes. So really great to see this. And I like how very clear it's outlined. Now the voting. So this is probably one of the most important parts to everybody because maybe you're not as eager to propose things, but you just definitely want your voice to be heard. So they are using Snapshot. Uh, I'm very familiar with this. Um, they, I like how they decided to use this one as well because it is trusted by a lot of the largest DAOs in Web3. It's also gas-free, which is really important. And stay to the very end of the video because I am going to show you kind of a little tutorial on how to use it. It is pretty straightforward. They also have the direct link here on their Medium. And I do recommend if you're not familiar with Snapshot, just go ahead and watch this video. It does a great job at explaining it. Then they kind of break down the voting process. Moderators post MIPS to Snapshot to ensure each deal has gone through the correct approval process. Then there's a 14 day window. Basically during this window, all Dell members vote. They do talk about how fractionalized tokens are gonna get rounded down, you know, and then there's three options. There's in favor, against, and abstain. I'll understand exactly what that means. And then after the 14 days is over, uh, proposals that receive a majority in favor vote are then removed into rotation. Ones that are rejected will have the chance to be resubmitted via the appropriate resubmission template if the uh, author contacts a moderator. And if the vote close time it's tied or has not gotten any votes, uh, it's gonna be tagged as stalled and then eligible for resubmission again. Okay, awesome, that's all straightforward. So general guidelines, they talk about how it's a flexible organization allowing for the addition and replacement of members, administrators, and council members. This is pretty common with DAO structures. Uh, regular votes are held throughout the year to elect board members responsible for managing DAO proposals that align with the community's vision. This is pretty exciting. 
Um, also proposals that directly conflict with existing ones are subject to a three month waiting period. This is good because it does prevent resource duplication. And then proposals involving anything illegal or stuff that you just, you should know shouldn't be in here are obviously gonna be ineligible. And then they do mention, please all DAO members to be respectful. They do want constructive conversations about this, but there's no need to get into heated debates. You know, this is supposed to be something that benefits the entire community. So this is awesome. I hope that was really clear for all of you guys. Now let's jump over to Snapshot so I can show what this is about. So when you first come here, you're gonna see this. You can see Mavia kind of right on the front. You do want to connect your wallet. So I'm just gonna do quickly show you guys an example go in here connect now you do have to hold a mavia token obviously to be able to participate so make sure it's a wallet that has some tokens now some people will ask me is this safe you know do you recommend it yes mavia has mentioned that but i'm going to use multiple wallets holding very a varied amount of tokens i'm not necessarily just going to have one master wallet with all my tokens to do all my voting from that's just an extra layer of security that I like to do, but it is nice to know that you're just signing a message here. Also, it's not asking for permissions to use your tokens or anything like that. So once you're signed in with your wallet, simply hit join. You're gonna get this signature request you can see here with the timestamp. We're gonna hit sign. Now you're joined. So now there's proposals. Obviously there's none in here right now. We say new proposal, you need to be a core member of the space in order to submit a proposal. Here's the title, here's the description, and then there's optional for discussion. This is great. So really the only thing you guys are gonna have to worry about is once you're joined, you got that green check mark, you're pretty much good to go. You're gonna see new proposals that come up here. And as the thing mentioned, everything else is gonna be happening in Discord. Okay, play. thanks so much for joining us today. I hope that made everything clear. I'm super excited for the DAO governance. I think this is something truly exciting to see with Mavia. And also thanks so much to everyone who subscribed to the channel. It really makes a big difference for all of us here on the team. And of course, thank you for smashing that like button. We'll see y'all in the next video. Cheers.